Okay, now that it's uh, already dried, completely dried, please make sure that you do not use uh, the hairdryer or the heat tool to dry it because uh, it's going to melt uh, and it's going to, you know, uh, it's, it's not very nice. I tried using the hairdryer and it just, you know, it wasn't good. Just let it dry, air dry it. Right, so I'm going to now add a little bit more, um, you know, new color tools on top here. And wait, before that, I've got to put a piece of paper behind this thing. Yeah, right. So I'm going to add a little bit more pigment to this part here. Because this, I think it's not like, you know, nice enough, thick enough. It's not as much as this. So you just add as, uh, as how you like it. Just slowly build it up. You see this one, this one melted because I, you know, I used the uh, heat gun. Sorry, I think I am going to, you know, maybe if like this, without the ring light, I'm not sure if you can see the glitter. Yeah, a little bit. Let me turn on the ring light. Yeah, I think I think this is better. Now, yep. Um, yeah, so I am going to add more colors, a little bit more. And this one just, you know, and it hardens back. But this part, I'm just going to put it aside. Maybe I'm just going to use the brush or something. Um, just add more colors and don't be tempted to add too much water at one time because the paper is not going to take it <laughs> uh, don't do the same mistake that's me yeah and I just added some glitter and put this part the sides here just going to add a little bit more here and there you know just to add some more color and don't be tempted to add like a lot at one time because uh, less is more, I think. Yeah, so you add this and then just uh, activate it. And yeah. And these uh, new colors too, they're quite forgiving. They, they, they do lift, you know, it's not like uh, intense, which is like permanent after once it's dried. So this one, if you don't like uh, what it looks like, you can just go in with a dry brush not sorry not dry brush damp brush or wet brush and and um clean it pick the colors up pigment up again it does work see so i'm gonna zoom you in a little bit uh yeah see i think this one now looks a bit um, better and before going to add a little bit more uh, glitter which is like this one I'm not sure these two looks uh, very similar one has finer um, this is a uh, frosty shimmer from art spirit so I'm just going to add it in here blend it in the water and yeah sometimes I if I don't clean my you know my this jar of uh, I don't I still use it then sometimes there is a bit of shimmer in it She's like, you know, I, I just use it. Yeah. This is just to add a little bit of a interest shimmer. If I turn the ring light off, make it darker. Uh, not sure if you can. Yeah. I think I think it shows slightly better. You see the ring light. Um, if it the lighting is too bright, you won't you won't pick up. Yep. So um, I'm gonna zoom you out. Out, not in, out. Yeah. So this is. Let me turn on the ring light. <laughs> 
Okay, so this one is, uh, I would say my background, I'm quite happy with the background. Um, yeah. And I'm going to complete the rest of it. This one I used ink tans and then um, the rabbit here. No, no, sorry, not rabbit, squirrel. Um, I used pencils, just, I, I, it's a mix of pencils. I think Prismacolor pencils, just, you know, just use that. And then uh, fine liners, Stettler fine liners for, you know, the fur part. Yeah, so there we have it. Um, so till then, take care and happy coloring. If you like this channel, I mean, if you like uh, videos like this, please don't hesitate to subscribe and give me a cheeky thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye. Take care.